This is Hamada Zahawi, founder and CEO of Right Track Admissions, a global admissions consulting company. If you haven't been to our channel before, get ready for an unfiltered account of exactly how to get into your top choice program, how to secure funding, and how to succeed both as a student and as a professional. You probably heard tons and tons of videos on this content, and that is how to write an effective personal statement. And this, literally what I'm gonna tell you, this very simple trick, the ABCs of writing a personal statement is gonna help you to write any personal statement for any program, whether it's law, MBA, graduate, or college admissions. So okay, so let's begin. A, A is for attention grabbing, okay? You wanna think about something that's really gonna pull them in, draw them into your story. So think about a quote or an action sequence. Like I said, think about your life like a movie. How do you draw in the audience, right? So think about how you wanna grab their attention, then provide context to that attention grabbing sequence, and then provide a brief roadmap so that they know where you're going, okay? So A, for attention grabbing. B, B is for background. Talk about your life, the values you have, your upbringing, difficulties you faced, who you are, really. Talk about there, get personal, talk about your background, okay? That's what you wanna do in paragraph two, or B for background. C, C is for career academic career and professional career, okay? When you're thinking about that, think about the accomplishments you've had, the strengths, the weaknesses, the things you've done in your life, things you're proud about, right? What have, what do you believe in? What have you done about it in terms of your academics if you're on the younger side or professional if you're a more seasoned individual and you've had professional experience, okay? So C for career. D, now think about D for direction, okay? Think about your goals, where you want your life to go, right? And this is a very, very important transitional paragraph, right? To talk about what you, who you are, what you've done, and where you want to go in life, right? So think about D for direction, okay? E, E is for educational institution, okay? So when you're thinking about educational institution, you want to talk about maybe the community of the, of the campus. You want to think about professors, journals, clinics, programs, classes, all of that, you wanna put it in there and show that you've done your research for the school. So E is for education. And finally, F. And F is for finale. How do you bring it all together? How do you bring closure to the statement, okay? So F is for finale, it's a conclusion. It basically sums up everything and it brings closure to the conclusion of what you had started with in the introduction, in the attention grabbing. So again, just to repeat, attention grabbing, B for background, C for career, D for direction, E for educational institution, and F for finale. Okay, and here's your call to action, okay? I want you to think about three things that are a checklist to help you better ensure that your essay is gonna be super, super memorable. Think about G for goals. Did you cover all your goals? Did you have the direction? Did you make sure that you told the reader exactly what you wanna do with that program? H for hook, you wanna make sure that this stands out, is memorable, and it has something that really can grab them in, right? And I for institution. Again, did you really talk about the institution and make it so that it's so geared towards that school and that program, okay? Well, I hope you found this useful. I'll help get you on the right track to success. If you have any questions, please post them below. We'll do our best to get back to you. In the meantime, please stay safe, stay sane, and stay connected.